Hello, hello, hello. Come on. Yeah, no. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Today, I went to Jules. My, my man be all over the place. I went to Jules and they had some um, beef stew meat uh, for a decent price. So, I bought a pack. I think it was like $7 or something. And I decided to make a beef stew. I made it a little different. I didn't use potatoes. I used pasta. I used the uh, orzo pasta. It looked like rice. I love that pasta. I love how it expands. I love it. I love it. I love it. But anyway, so I got that. Peas and carrots this time as opposed to I normally use um, mixed vegetables. But I got peas and carrots this time with some onions. I forgot my celery. Nevertheless, it's still going to be good. Last minute decision. I kind of cook off what's on sale. Or maybe what my husband have a taste for. But mostly, when I go to the store, what's on sale. But anyway, today is beef stew. So come on in, come on in, come on in. Thank you for your time. And thank you for every moment you spend with my husband. So this is it. This is it. I got peas and carrots, some onion, some beef stew meat that I cut up into bite sizes. I added a little cornstarch to this to thicken it up. And some of the beefy, one packet of that beefy onion soup. Okay, let's get started. Let's get started. I got this uh, beef stew meat from Jules. Yeah, just a small package. And if you can see the size of it, the bite, I'm going I'm to cut those up into smaller pieces. It'll help cook it faster and tender for me. This is what I do. And you do you. Yeah, they kind of big, so I'm going to cut them. But I want to get them rinsed really good first. And for me, I'm going to boil them for maybe about 10, 15 minutes, and I'm gonna pull that water off and then um, cook them in beef stock, beef beef broth, not the stock. I didn't buy the stock this time. I got the beef broth. But yeah, giving it a good rinse. See all that stuff at the bottom in that bowl? I don't know if y'all can see it, but, well, you can see it in the sink. So now I'm gonna add this meat into this pot I got some water in the pot. I'm adding it in. I don't know why it's moving so slow. My phone been messing up, y'all. I think my battery, something going on with my battery. But anyway, I'm trying to get this going. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So I'm adding the meat into some water. And again, once it starts boiling, 10, 15 minutes, I'm going to uh, rinse it because I don't want all that stuff on my meat. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not sorry. I'm going to rinse my meat. I'm going to clean my meat. And this is what I do. You do you. So it's about 15 minutes and I am rinsing my meat again. Yep, that's what I'm doing. And in the end, my meat is still going to be flavorful because I'm going to season it. I know how to season my food. I know y'all say, oh, she rinsing off this, the flavor. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm just cleaning my meat. Again, this is the way I do it. I'm not making nobody do anything. I'm not trying to make nobody do anything. So I got a little water in the pot and I'm adding some beef broth. I got some more. I'm going to add some more into that. And then I'm going to add that meat in. And I'm going to let that cook up. Uh, probably going to cook that for about an hour. And then I'm going to cut them into bite sizes. Which I didn't show that on the video. But I took them out and cut them into bite sizes. Again, it you know, it, it cooked faster like that. And it'd be more tender. 
Uh, so I got some water bottle. I'm gonna add this orzo pasta to another uh, pot. This is going into my st- my beef stew. I'm not gonna add potatoes this time. Normally that's what I do. I normally have potatoes and mixed vegetables, but this time I'm gonna have orzo pasta and peas and carrots and onions. I didn't have any celery. I normally add celery, but I didn't have any, so it is what it is. So I'm just checking on my meat. I'm adding one package of this beefy onion soup. One package. Add that in, and I'm going to get that stirred. Yep, it's time for the seasoning. It's time, it's time, it's time. It's moving slow again, y'all. I don't know what's going on. I don't know, but giving it a stir. I'm trying to continue. I hope it don't mess up and cut off on me. Because it's moving really slow. So I'm going to add in some. I got a uh, bag of these frozen peas and carrots. Um, I let them throw out, though. So I'm going to uh, add that in now and give it a stir. I got some onions that I cut up, uh, a half an onion I cut up. So that's going in. And I got some minced parsley and garlic seasoning. I'm going to add that. My salt and pepper. More pepper. More pepper than salt. I want the heat. The heat. Yeah, I'm going to do two spoons of this minced garlic and parsley. Look like I'm running low. I need to get some more. I need to get some more. Anything garlic, I try to keep in stock. I try to keep it in stock. So again, mixing, mixing, mixing. And I'm going to add my salt and pepper right now. More pepper, more pepper. Don't be saying, ah, that's too much salt. It is what it is. That's what the hand did. That's what the hand did. It sprinkled out some love. That's what I cook. That's how I cook. Yep, yep, yep. I'm about to rinse my orzo pasta. I let it cook for about 10 minutes. Yeah, about 10 minutes. Because I want it done. I don't want to put it in my broth and it soak up all the juice. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't want that. I want it done. So I'm just giving it a good rinse. And and my uh my meat uh I added some um what is that cornstarch I'm sorry I added a little cornstarch uh to my beef broth all that to make it a little thick I don't know if you can see but yeah so it's getting thicker now I want it to get thick and then I'm gonna add in the orzo pasta. Moving slow again. What is going on with this? This is moving slow, y'all. I don't know what's happening. I apologize. But I guess it wasn't supposed to be that long. I don't know. But anyway, orzo pasta is going in. I'm going to give that a mix. Make sure everything is marrying together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now, come on, come on. It's taking too long. Slow motion, slow motion, slow motion. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's slow, y'all. It's moving slow. Like it's dragging. Well, I'm just going to mix this in. I got all my seasons in. I'm going to put that lid on and just let it, the flavor settle in all together. And that's it. That's it. Because the pasta is done, it's just going to soak up some of that flavor. So it is done done. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time and every moment you spend with Myra.